Okay, coming up any moment now, we'll be finding out whether or not the province can legally cut the size of council ahead of October's vote. Let's get live to our Tammy Sutherland. She's at the office of a lawyer who actually brought the case in front of the courts. Uh, Tammy, what are you hearing so far? Well, he's very excited right now. We're at the office of Rocco Champong, who's also a candidate for Eglinton Lawrence. And tell us, uh, you have the decision here and what has happened. Justice Bella Blabla has granted our application. We, the applicants who filed to restrain the coming into force and effect of the bill, the Better Local Government Act, um, have won. So uh, the application has been granted. We still have a 47 word structure. Okay, so what happens now? Is there a chance that this may happen, that the Bill 5 will go through and be in effect at another time? Or is this just a pause right now on Bill 5? This is likely a pause on um, right now. And if we have uh, paragraph 85, the operative words are the impugned provisions have no force and effect and are set aside immediately. Um, I have to go through the whole reasons. We got this 30 seconds ago. And uh, uh, yeah, and I'll find out what exactly uh, uh, Justice Bella Baba is saying. Okay, great. And how do you feel about uh, this, you being one of the lawyers who brought this forward? It's time to start campaigning and hopefully uh, uh, see whether or not I still have a shot at winning Eglinton and Lawrence uh, in the coming 43 days or 42 days left in the campaign. Okay, thank you so much, Rocco. Uh, so once again, one of the main things that I'm reading off of this decision right now is that it follows from this decision that the city's election on October 22nd shall proceed as scheduled, but on the basis of 47 wards and not 25 wards. That is the main point of this decision from the judge that's been sent out this morning. So breaking news once again, the 45, 47 rather, seats at council that are in, currently in effect will remain that way for the October. October 22nd election. Mel, I'll send it back to you for now. This is massive, Tammy. Okay, so we're going to continue to get reaction. I know there's a lot of paperwork that you need to comb through uh, with a lawyer. So we'll get back to you in just a little bit. We're going to talk to John Wright uh, in just a moment's time. And he's uh, actually, I don't know if John is available right now. He's uh, on standby. We're going to be talking to him a little bit about what this means because his initial thought was that there would have been an appeal for this one um, but obviously uh, this is a big win going from 47 actually let's bring in John really quickly if we can um, John I know you were on standby for 815 but your initial reaction to this you didn't think this was gonna happen no I didn't I actually uh, said about half an hour ago while it can go either way it would it would appear that this that the province probably had more of cloud in this circumstance. Mm -hmm. But I think what it does is set up the next phase, which I'm far more interested in, because what we said at that time was either way it goes, there's going to be an appeal. Mm -hmm. So while there may be a, a partisan or emotional event that takes place today claiming victory, you, you have 30 days to file appeal, as far as I know, and then after that it's in the hands of an appeal court to, to deal with right. it. So we're in a bit of a mess right now because the question is whether or not when the appeal is underway, you know, the, the validity of this election holds water. So we haven't read all of the pieces, mm -hmm. but this judge has basically said, carry out the election under 47 uh, seats, and uh, there you go. It's got, you know, massive implications for the upcoming election. Because right now, people have just refiled all of this paperwork under the, the considered sure. 25 seats. Now they're going to need to refile, rejig. Uh, and we've, we're six weeks away from the municipal vote. Well, we, we are, and we also have municipal councillors like Gord Perks who have said, I'm not going to be in this. Yeah. We've had uh, people like Joe Mahevic and, and uh, Josh Matlow who were probably going to go at each other. All of a sudden, their campaign teams are going to be looking to go into the old ward. I mean, in many ways, it does throw this into a massive uh, conflict in terms of trying to sort out the election. So uh, I, I guess the analysis really over the next uh, number of hours is going to be whether an appeal, and I don't know the answer, to this whether an appeal by the province on this side will in fact set the decision aside yeah. um, and we're going to have an election based on the 40 I, geez, wow. I don't know you know what this is uh, it's not what we expected uh, what we'll do is we're going to get back to our Tammy Sutherland in a little bit as she is standing by with a lawyer there and we'll, we'll break down uh, the, the language and what right. it really means and uh, this is a big deal we're also going to get a reaction um, from Mayor John Tory uh, he's supposed to be releasing a statement coming up very shortly and he'll be talking to media later on this yep. afternoon but perhaps we're going to be learning more um, more people will be speaking out this morning so thank you so much for that John we'll bring you back in just a bit